Hello my friends, welcome to the Mobius mod for StarCraft II Custom Campaign Manager. You might see that this says a nightmare down here. This is a mod made by, uh, oh gosh, what is his name? Nadral, Nadral, who used the Custom Campaign Manager's nightmare difficulty as a base and then built a mod of his own on top of that. And this is really, really exciting to me. Because one of the things we were envisioning when we made, actually the thing we were envisioning when we made the custom campaign manager is that it would make these custom campaigns so much easier for modders to make that they would, you know, people would come out and start building this stuff. I don't know who Nadral is. Obviously, he is a custom campaign enthusiast, probably, hopefully a viewer. I hope he has bad enough taste to be a viewer. But... The idea that this guy, who is not a modder that I contracted, not a modder that I've worked with before, is like, okay, here's a system, now I can make these mods, is so cool to me and really exciting. Oh man, I'm really excited. Welcome to the Mobius mod. This mod was built using Nightmare Edition by Rhyme as a base. I don't know what this is. I've heard good things about it. Let's give it a go. All right, disabled achievements by default is a good thing. And then... Welcome to the Mobius mod, dear player. Welcome to the Mobius mod for StarCraft II Nightmare Edition. In this campaign, the Mobius Foundation chose to be a lot more active with the equipment they provide to Rainer's Raiders. You will thus be able to use high-tech units incorporating elements from Protoss and Zerg technology. I like that, that's cool. The base difficulty of this mod is intended to be close to brutal or slightly above. Lower difficulties are available and functional. If you consider the brutal difficulty too easy, Feel free to test the evil mode by typing evil in chat. This mode adds random buffs to the enemy unit. Okay. Not a big random fan. But if you also but you also receive additional credits at the end of the mission. The bonus credit is applied even when playing from the archives. Be careful though. Evil 50% is similar in difficulty to Nightmare Edition, and Evil 100%, although possible, is only re recommended for people who like pain. So my thoughts is we should play it on the built intended difficulty as a first time through. Because generally when you go to super high difficulties, first of all, I don't like random additions. Not my personal flavor of tea. Um, But generally the higher you get, a lot less things are viable. And if we're getting a bunch of crazy super units to you play with, then I want to test all of them. I don't want to just have a select few that are viable. So we're going to go with that. Thank you to Giant Crack. Oh, that's me and his community of modders for StarCraft II Mod Manager, without which this mod wouldn't exist. A huge thanks to Rhyme. <laughs> Thank you, Giant Crank Games, for making this. Huge thanks to Rhyme. <laughs> no, he deserves it. Rhyme is amazing. He's an incredible modder, one of the best, for developing the Nightmare Mode, which is the base of this mod and allowing me to share my project. Thank you, guys. I hope... Uh, Thank you, Nadral. I'm excited to see this mod. Let's test out exactly what it is. We have Legionnaires who have 25 shields, 75 HP, one armor, two shield armor, and they do 12 damage times one attack speed. So their damage isn't actually super higher compared to the Marine, but they're very durable and they have an ability. Emergency survival protocol, 60 second cooldown, diverts all armor energy to survival systems. Maximizes shield and heals for four seconds. The unit is disabled for this period. And it's got an autocast, so it seems to be a safety survival thing. I guess that means that we want Jim. He's got 25 shields, though. Oh, you got mail! <laughs> Hyperion message. Sir, I hope you like the new armors. If they're as good as promised, it may be worth continuing our relationship with our new provider. You're supposed to meet the contract person at Joey Ray's bar later today. Right now, you should focus on saving those people. Remember, the more we save, the more support we'll receive later on. And Matt Horner. That's, this is really cool. I like this a lot. I'm having a good time already and I haven't shot somebody. And usually, you gotta, you gotta at least kill the first enemy before you're having a good time. Is this a bigger traffic jam than normal? Maybe it's not, I'm not sure. So let's see what we got. How good are the Legionnaires? We have some Marines. They have 1-1. One, one. We got to keep that in mind. And then there's some Auditors here. 200 HP. So can we... Who has the longest range? Jim does? Oh. There we go. Pull these guys this way. 
Try taking him down. Pull Jim back. And try not to lose anybody. Uh, the ability did not auto cast. Oh, these guys have a natural regen as well. Cool. I like it. I guess that's the Zerg part, isn't it? So we hit the Z, we healed that guy up, and then we move this way, take down the turret nice and clean, and just try to make sure we have as many guys as possible. Remember, this is through the custom campaign manager, so all the auto saves, all the manual saves, everything should work here perfectly. Bonus objective, protect as many civilians as possible, yep. I like that, I really like that. 200 credits per civilian saved, destroy the Dominion hollow boards, 2,500 credits apiece. It's so cool. I First of all, making the objectives different is really nice, the bonus objectives, and then making them actually matter on this mission is cool. I like it a lot. Oh gosh, Jim. These guys regen. Does Jim? 81, 82. Oh, he does. That's good. So if things get really hairy, I can heal Jim up, and that'll be cool. It'll just be really slow. All right, so we need to start this fight, kill as many of these guys as we can so that the drop pods are not too bad. Move on in. So, okay, that Marine thing is really neat. It did auto cast on the guy that was over there. And because he was rapidly regenerating, he actually acted as a tank. I wonder if, do we just want to have one guy in front and send him in he gets hit and then we just hit it right now hey that worked out really well because the shield was regenerating fast too so this is both a savior mechanism and an ability that we can use manually to turn a marine into somewhat of a tank oh well he did die so maybe that's not good i mean we're experimenting we're learning. man this guy hurts that was not a random hammer security was it he seemed way better than normal. Okay, we gotta be careful. I'm gonna throw a save down. I wonder if we full he- Ooh. A 3-3 three, three Sky Fury. Alright, Jim, we need you in the front, my dear. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I wonder if we heal during the cutscene. Kerrigan always does. Jim could learn from her. Let's, uh... Just pull guys out real slow. I'm being very careful here because I'm... Whoa! Hello! <laughs> because stuff like that sometimes happens in games. <laughs> well, their stim is gone. Ooh, gym shield regens fast. Look at that. When he's out of combat, that's crazy. This is really interesting. It's just like a new unit to work with. I'm liking it. It's not like some lazy, oh, you get a marine, but it has regenerative biosteel. It's like legitimately feels very different. I love this ability. It takes, it's, it's good. It's just good. Okay. Take the hollow board out. And then, what do we got to do? Let me check the cooldowns on these guys for that final fight. We definitely need to wait a bit. I want to make sure that they're doing well. I don't think we can wait for Jim. This guy, I guess, will naturally regen pretty nicely. And Jim can do his own thing. As long as we have the front line for them. Because I want to keep as many of these civilians as possible alive. So usually... They don't charge past this until we go past the gates. Yeah. Cool. So we have to cross this line before they go. And we got more guys. Thank you, Adjutant. I really appreciate that. Hmm. So you're definitely expected to lose stuff. We have a lot of infantry here, though. All right, let's, let's give this a go. I'm saving a lot just because I don't know what's going to happen and want to do my best. Was that guy that was taking... Oh, gosh. Save him. Save him. Oh, these civilians. They're mowing him down. It's brutal. That's not good. Let's see if we can move forward. Oh, here's the battle cruiser from Nightmare Edition, ain't it? Okay. Um, 
And some landed Vikings. Oh, it was on cooldown. Oh, no. Okay, you do the heal thing. You do the heal thing. And we got the BC. <laughs> I lost every civilian. Unless Hank is just hiding <laughs> in the porta potty, which I'm not sure that he is. Okay, first mission done. We're going to do the outlaws as well. Not because I always do a double feature at the beginning, but because... <laughs> but because I'm having a really good time. This is really cool. I'm... <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Field Engineer Zeta. Ooh. Credit rewards, 45,000. So the bonus is going to give a lot of rewards again, isn't it? Interesting. Interesting. So generally, I'm skipping all the cutscenes, by the way. Cutscenes made by modders are generally... They give you an indication if they're changed, and you can make them unskippable if they're changed. And that's what most modders do. Uh, by right-clicking the Build SCV button on the Command Center, you can automate the pro... Uh oh. Interesting. What's the oh, look at this. It's Tychus. And we got Jimmy John Rayner. Interesting. I like this. Let's uh, move this guy over here. Oh, well, gosh. Uh, okay, the field engineer literally has every ability. Give me a second. We get a little bit of a defense thing here. It says Jim has... Oh, he's got a detection. He's a detector. Interesting. And then this has greater heal, nano repair, repairs mechanical units. Oh, medics that require or repair friendlies is cool. They're very expensive. Uh, electro flash grenades. Slows stuff. I got, I got an email. One sec. Uh, slows movement and attack speed and... Reduces healing of enemy ground biological units in the target area for five seconds. Also inflicts light damage for a duration. And then two auto turrets that cost 50 minerals and 50 energy. I wonder if this is timed. Oh, it's permanent. Well then. Okay. Colonial Bureau message. Uh, Commander Rayner, thank you for freeing my people. You're under attack. I don't know if I can bring this up later, so I'm just going to try to kill these guys. I like that she can heal her turret. That's really cool. There are more prisoners in the mines. However, the Dominion is heavily fortified. You'll need an army to liberate them. Some of my men were provided uh, with your equipment and are holding the west of here. If you're able to join them, they will help you. Good luck. I, li I like the little email at the beginning. That's cute. Okay. So I, I need to start getting stuff. The Legionnaires are twice as expensive as Marines. So they are they're pretty darn pricey, honestly. We're not going to be able to afford a ton of barracks as a result. Let's see what is going. Oh, we got a spooky refiner, but only has 900 minerals. Regenerative mineral field. This mineral field will not run out of resources. Well, <laughs> something tells me the mule is not in this mod. <laughs> There's no way. Interesting, though. So, they're expecting you to run out of everything near the end, then. I, there's a whole lot of really cool ideas going on here. This is, <laughs> I, I keep just saying this is neat. But the thing is, it's neat, isn't it? It's really neat. So, and if you disagree, then you're wrong. You just, you don't understand neat. Let's see what happens when we autocast. I'm going to autocast the build, and what I'm hoping is going to happen is it'll stop building them at some point, <laughs> because it would be too many otherwise. I think I actually need another barracks. These medics are insane, though. They have an automatic flashbang grenade that slows the enemy. I definitely need a lot of these no matter what I'm doing. Their energy regeneration rate is not the greatest. But the fact that we have these permanent auto turrets that they can heal is really cool. Two per. Oh, I I keep clicking back here and being like, why is it not adding the guy that I added? Because it's on autocast. Okay, we are... We're going. We're doing. We're moving and shaking.
what is the build time? 30 seconds. I think with one gas, that is okay. What's going to happen is they're going to hit us again. Who's allowed to die, by the way? What happens with these heroes? There's nothing... There's nothing saying that we can't lose them. Okay, I gave it a save. I'm going to save again. I'm going to murder Tychus. Dear custom mod makers, you should never, unless it is a, like a no build mission that's specifically macro. If, if you're playing a macro mission, it's not fun to have hero units that fall over and die. I've said this a million times. And I have been validated. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Everything here is a good decision so far. I'm loving this. Okay, fire some of those nades. Pull back, try to use the auto turrets as defense. We crushed through this, and I think that means that it is time to go explore the mines. Okay, let's see what happens here. No, it just auto builds forever. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh, SCVs are 75 minerals a piece. Wait, what? <laughs> what? They, they got a grappling hook. Ooh, they can morph into Hercs. Oh, oh. Well, we can't build an engineering bay yet. Oh, that's next mission. They can morph into Hercs. Oh my gosh. This, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> this is so good. And they're building all across the map, just like Nightmare. Tychus is going to take a little bit of a nap. He's had a hard day. Now let's just take all this stuff down. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they can morph into Herx. That's so brilliant. we got to rescue the rebels before they die. And I think I need... How much is left here? A decent amount, actually. Okay. Depot Depot. Oh... People got pulled in a weird direction as I was building infrastructure. That's not good. Oh, no. Uh, turret? Here, protect me. Yeah, my money's going up really quickly. There's no reactors or anything, which I guess is the problem. Hmm. I'm hoping this is enough. Ooh, that's a lot of guys. So what if we go like turret, turret, turret. And then we can slow them down and start knocking them out. Pull them back, pull them back. Nice little split. This is definitely harder than Brutal is, but that is... Maybe, I mean, the early stages, it makes sense with the Nightmare base. We're getting there, though. Now we have a really sweet army, and we're starting to plow through these enemies pretty, pretty well. And I guess because we have the hero units, we have a big benefit. <laughs> and Tychus is just going to die over and over, and it's okay. Let's see. I don't need any more gas geysers. We just move this forward. We're going to have to rescue Tychus at some point. He's our friend. So the medic actually combos very well with the marine's heal ability because generally the one that's being attacked is the one that's going to be healed, right? And then he activates the heal on top of it and it's very durable as it's about to die. Gotta... Keep moving this way. Well oh, aboard, money. I like... <gasps> Rain is the man. I don't think I need high-sec auto-tracking or Dominion structure armor, but I just noticed those were upgrades available. And does that mean that we do... Oh, they morph to Herx for free. Interesting. Free Herx. In this economy? That's insane. So we're going to keep building up and preparing to go. I'm not sure what to do about this free Herc thing. And this, there's mineral fields everywhere, which is interesting as well. There's a whole lot of, like, unknowns here. I'm just going to keep pushing. Give it a go. The burst damage from these Marines is very nice. 
They definitely have lower DPS per dollar than the typical Marine, but the volley nature is powerful. It's kind of like the halfway between a Marine and a Roach in that respect. SCVs. You're gonna wish you became Herx. Oh, that's a lot. Take us go in the front. Oh gosh, that's a lot of guys. Having trouble getting these turrets down, but I think that's by design. They want you to use them defensively, not offensively, which is very reasonable. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Da 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 da. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Oh man. Oh, this is amazing. So the Herc statistically is not the greatest thing ever. Oh, we can put the grapple on autocast. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I guess we want to build another command center over here for the long term, just in case things go awry. What's the plan? Not that they will. We have so many Hercs. Okay. Charge! It's Hurricane time. This mod has been so good that I didn't even make an It's Morbin time joke today. Until that. This is... That should be the most impressive thing, or the most indicator of impressiveness. <laughs> the most indicator of impressiveness. <laughs> yes. All right, we got the base. We don't need to build any expansions or anything. <laughs> We're on top of everything. This is so cool. Uh, I want to say one more time, this mod is made by Nadril. I'm going to be giving it a playthrough. Uh, I haven't spoken to Nadril, but... Uh, Nadril, if you're out there, could you send me a DM on Discord and we could chat? I would love to hear more about your mod and probably I would like to put it on the Custom Campaign Manager Discord once I'm finished with it, assuming it is this good throughout the entire thing. Very impressed so far. And that is it. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, episode number one of the Mobius mod. This... <laughs> I am really shocked at just how fun this is. And this was only two missions in. Okay, if Nadril can make Zero Hour good, that is always the above and beyond for our modders, where they're just so... They're holding up, holding up the StarCraft world like Atlas. So we will see tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace!